guys I'm the cool kid and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a worm virus this worm virus is for prank purpose because it's still in developing because I have just made it now and I ha I wanted to show it to you so let's make it first of all the PDF that I was going to share that had all the viruses and all the explanations for the viruses is available now the link will be in the description and it's free of course so let's get to it first of all just make any folder in your PC and just go to new and uh, text document name it whatever you want for example prank dot bat remember it should be dot bat it doesn't it doesn't matter if it's in the uppercase or lowercase because it's not in any of this so the code for is this one I just made it here and uh, this is the thing that you are going to change it in your PC is that first of all go to your friends home and uh, as you know that this is a prank virus then you must go to your friends PC or ask him to do this so first of all the things you are going to change are this prank or that I have made the prank.bat here so you have to change the name here here and the name of the file so if I'm going to make it like the test.bat then I have to change it to test.bat and here test.bat after that you have to change uh, uh, save it here and then change the name of this file test.bat after this you have to change is that here is the location of the startup folder so basically this startup folder is the folder where all the programs that are saved will be started automatically whenever the PC is restarted so now what you have to do is that first of all tell your friend or do it yourself that you have to open my computer or this PC in the Windows 8 or 10 now here just type in the address bar at rate app data don't mistype it because it won't work then after this just search for windows folder and sorry microsoft folder and here i think where is it okay here is it so in this microsoft folder you have to search for windows folder and here start menu and programs and here startup folder so now after opening the startup folder now you have to just click on this address bar just control C and exit now if you're doing it in your PC then you have to take the location and send it to yourself by any means I don't know and second thing if you are not doing in your PC and in your friend's PC then it's all fine so just open the template this template and the files that are required are already in the description box so don't worry you can just download them now here in the inverted comma inverted comma is that comma I think that's not let's say quotation marks now here just paste the location I've already done so you do I don't have to change it now here the bat file that I'm going to provide won't be having my location because of course I don't want to share my location although it's on the screen you can see that but let's just see so now here you have to change this part again but without the slash if you change the slash then all the program goes into water so just paste without the slash and inside the quotation marks and after saving it just paste uh, I mean just save it now after this I'm going to explain what is this so I mean how is this working so if you don't want to see how is this working just skip to the I don't know where so for example uh, no not example so what this added echo of does is that it doesn't show the X copy I mean this code will not be shown on the CMD screen and after this the code will execute sorry the, this part is the starting of the loop x means the loop 
inside x is the code that is going to be looped again and again now here this part is the starting of the loop and this part is the ending of the loop now md hag means it is going to make a new folder cd hag means it's going to work in that folder x copy uh, blah 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 is going to just copy the bat file inside the hack folder which means it will take some space so now after this cd hack the new hack folder after the loop which will be made will be now selected as the current directory so what will this does is make a hack folder and uh, copy a test.bat inside it then make again a hack folder inside the hack folder and make and copy and hack and copy and hack and copy so this will go infinitely until the cmd cmd screen is closed but we don't want it to stop so i'm going to tell you the uh, i'm also going to tell you how to make this unstoppable first i'm going to test it in, in front of you so when i open this you can see the this will come and it's copying it so now after this you can see that there's a hack folder inside it and there's a hack folder inside it and hack folder inside it so it will go infinitely if i don't stop and so i think in 3 seconds or so it made 7 kb so that's very small i know so i'm going to also tell you how to make this file very large so that we can make some destruction to that pc Uh, so i'm just going to delete this folder right now now to make this unstoppable we have to make this hidden now for that i'm going to use the bat to exe converter which i've already shown you how to use but i will still tell you how to use now what bat to exe converter does is that it will convert the bat to exe of course by its name so i have problem finding it where the hell is it Where are you back to VXC? I just pause the video. Now I don't remember where is it. I think it's here. Back to VXC converter. Portable and here it is. Okay, so after opening the back to VXC converter, first of all I'm going to provide this also in the description box, so don't worry. Now, after opening the back to VXC, here you can see the batch file. Now after opening the bat to exe converter just click on three dots here and go to the location of this and where you have made it um where is it okay here it is now just open it and you can see that it makes a save as already all already <coughs> so Now here after pasting the test dot bat you just have to select some things that I'm going to tell. First of all, you must know that whether your friend's PC is a 32 bit or 64 bit system. Mine is a 32 bit uh, I mean 64 bit system. So I'm going to select it. Now here is the main part which is making the program invisible. Now here just click on invisible application and 90% of your work is done. So after that just click No, no. Okay, so we can do that. We can add a icon file. I'm going to take any icon that I want. You don't want to add any icon file, then it's okay. But if you have some icon that your friend might see, then just select it. For example, I'm going to select um, let's see, Plant vs Zombies, Windows 8. I have so many icons. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the one I want to see? Let's see this one. Okay, it looks like a game. Now, after that, you don't have to edit anything here, and just no, nothing else to do. Okay, now just click on compile. After that, you can see this test dot bat. Now the virus is dangerous because now after making it an invisible virus, you cannot stop this. So after making this. you are in a potential danger so after that you have to make one change i have to open the bat to exe again now you can delete the test.exe i've made a mistake sorry 
I'll just select the file again and I'm really sorry I made a mistake so the problem that you will get if you do the previous thing that I did is that you will have to change the test.bat to test.exe we are changing the test.exe so let's make the changes again invisible application and mine is 32 I mean 64 bit system so after that version information select the icon and it's here where is it okay here and again that malware thing open I mean open now here in the editor you have to make change so change is that here dot at is going to be changed into dot exe as we are changing the file type extension of course now here again the test dot exe uh, exe now after making the changes now you are ready to go and compile now finally the virus has been made and the only change that you had to make is was that dot exe if you're not going to make it invisible application then you can just stick with dot bat um, so I already showed you how will this work and the difference this time will be that the CMD screen won't show and it won't be stoppable so stop it you cannot do nothing I mean you cannot seriously you cannot do anything so also to make the file size larger uh, so that it can take more space so, uh, I'm going to upload another video so just wait for it it will be uploaded in two three days so don't worry